Miller's planet would experience time at a very slow rate. But here on Earth, gravity is at a modest rate, and the gravitational force of the Sun is also a billion times weaker than Gargantua. So while the three astronauts spend a few hours on the planet, decades pass in the outside universe. All of this information is brought to you from the book The Science of Interstellar, written by the scientific consultant for the film. In real life, this process is happening everywhere in space. One interesting example is our International Space Station. When the ISS moves fast in orbit, time dilates or slows down, compared to a stationary observer here on Earth. Technically speaking, it is in a different time frame than we are. So by calculating the difference through Einstein's equations, we could correct the time at the ISS. Because we use a lot of references to the movie Interstellar here, we might as well just take a case study of how filmmakers technically do this time dilation feel in the movie. To achieve this extreme time dilation, where one hour over there equals seven years on Earth, a planet would need to be incredibly close to a supermassive black hole.